My name is Mary O'Connell. I'm a Regents Professor at New Mexico State University, and I have the privilege of being the director of the partnership between NMSU, New Mexico State University, and the Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center in Seattle. One of the training aspects of our program that's especially beneficial for NMSU students are the summer intern programs that support undergraduates or graduate students to go to Seattle and work at the Hutch for nine weeks. They work as individuals in research labs or in research programs in the different divisions at the Hutch that address basic cancer biology, virology, uh, population science, epidemiology, public health, even clinical projects. This past year, we brought back three former interns from a summer program at the Hutch to talk to current NMSU students about their experiences. My name is Ernesto Morales. I'm a New Mexico State graduate. My name is Bethany Hammonds. I am an NMSU graduate from 2010. Hi, my name is Matthew Banegas. I'm a Cancer Prevention Fellow at the National Cancer Institute. We had a packed house when these students gave their presentations. The three former interns described the personal experiences they went through how they felt coming from NMSU, going to Seattle, and being part of this large research enterprise. It was great for the current NMSU students to see it's very doable. What I walk away with from the Hutch was confidence. The same confidence I used to finish my degree here, the same confidence I used to apply and do an interview for my PhD, and the same confidence I'm using to finish up now. All of us can go to bat with people from any institution that it is, because we have a good foundation here. If you just budget, Get Dr. Kozel's book, I mean, find out where it is. <laughs> get your goals and objectives down of what you want to see, and just budget out, you can do it, you can really make it a fun time. What I liked about the project that I did at Fred Hutch was it was a very uh, translational project. It was a project that I think was feasible in a lot of areas um, with a lot of different uh, groups of people. I did uh, my project on colon cancer and it actually turned out to be my uh, thesis topic uh, to complete my master's degree here and I uh, have uh, recently published a paper from some of the findings. We did uh, two things. I looked at um, gut microbia in women with ranging BMIs. So we were looking at maybe there's a link between with antigens and we like to think that there's calories in and calories out, but in the case if you have more methanogens, there's actually more calories in than calories out versus other people. So um, it was really awesome. I got to use quantitative PCR, which I love, and I had a great time on the bench. The second part of the project was working with nutritionists in the field. I developed a calendar for them a, as an educational tool. So at the Fred Hutch, I think first and foremost, it was just the opportunity to be exposed to uh, groundbreaking research there. And also being a, a kid from Las Cruces, New Mexico, you know, you don't have those opportunities to be exposed to a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, a diverse group of researchers who are doing cancer research in several different fields. Secondly, I think that it opened up my opportunities for working and collaborating with others. There's teams of clinicians who work with researchers. It is a very collaborative environment, and that's how research is in real life. The biggest thing I remember is waking up at 6.30 before all my all the other interns and getting on the early bus to get to work and coming to the Fred Hutch when it was dark and cloud, like when there was clouds outside, so it was dark and overcast, and being the first in the lab working, and then all of a sudden it being 7 o'clock at night, like, oh, I should go home and eat or something. So the city was amazing. They were really encouraging to get us out, really explore. Um, but I, I really enjoyed myself at the Hutch, it was great. You know, it, it was one of the times where I really, I, I enjoyed getting up early and going in, um, and I didn't mind uh, working late. It was something about that, because you know, usually the summer, I think we've been conditioned to kind of let, get me out of here, it's a beautiful day, but didn't mind it. But I think one of the reasons why is because I always felt really valued. You know, whether it was sitting in on a, a staff meeting with people that I had read their papers, I knew they were established researchers, actually cared about what I had to say. I was saying things and using terminology that I had picked up here in New Mexico State. You know, if we're talking about health disparities, um, being from New Mexico, they're right here. Uh, if we're talking about issues of border health, we're just a few short miles away. The Fred Hutch and New Mexico State gave me the confidence to say, not only do I belong, but, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about where I'm going to go from here. So to apply for this program, you need to get on your computer that's hooked up to the internet, 
go to cancer.nmsu.edu and there are links there. The experience allows NMSU students to work in a world-class research institution where hundreds of employees are all focused on the same agenda to reduce the impact of cancer on people's lives.